heavy hair. I had a patient in ICU on ventilator, 79 or 80 year old. He couldn't talk because the tube is going through his mouth into his lungs. But he got a whole lot better and he was communicating by writing or by, by gesturing. One day, as he got better, I decided to take the tube out. And usually, I let the family be with the patient when I am doing any procedure. This, for them, it would be a happy situation to witness that their father or grandfather is getting extubated and they can talk to him and he can answer directly. I didn't want them to be deprived of that opportunity. So what happened? I usually talk to patients even when they are very sick. And he had some hair but not a whole lot. I told him I used to have 10 pounds of hair and I had to get a haircut every week because the weight of hair was so much that it will make me shorter and shorter and shorter. So I didn't want to lose my height with the weight of my hair. And I thought he was convinced. But subsequent events proved me wrong. So I explained to him how I am going to suction all the secretions out, how I am going to um, do the extubations, how to take the pressure on the cuff in the throat, release it and take the tube out. After listening to me, without talking a word, because he couldn't. His tube is in his mouth. He couldn't talk. And I took the tube out. And the, uh, in the meantime, I was getting his wife, almost 80 year old, very active, very uh, talkative. And his granddaughter, who was 13 or 14 year old, very pretty girl, I was getting them psychologically prepared to handle this 80-year-old gentleman who is getting extubated, who is going to talk. However, you know, the first thing he told, he used his vocalization machinery mechanism to pronounce some words. He pointed his finger at me. You never had 10 pounds of hair in your whole life. What a disgrace! And his wife was so happy. She told me, now you got what you deserve. Thank you, my patient. I don't remember your name, but still memory is fresh. Thank you. <laughs>